Tonight's fight clock. You see, there it is. Oh, look at that. Say that they're high risk. Rodriguez is so An unprecedented last second knockout. Oh, nice body kick. One more flurry. Oh! A record number of bonuses in the featherweight division. Yeah, you're just so. Oh, wow! Well, kick it out of the and a repertoire of moves straight out of Tekken. Oh, oh! Oh! Yair Rodriguez, dubbed El Pantera for having cat-like reflexes, has spent nine years climbing towards the interim championship. The Mexican is about to enter the unification clash against Alex Volkanovski. It's the perfect time to recall how masterfully Rodriguez toyed with the lives of his opponents throughout his arduous career. Rodriguez, round two here, down goes back, Rodriguez! Yair was born in 1992 in the Mexican town called Paral and passionately mastered Taekwondo from the age of five. He would later expand the arsenal with boxing as well as Jiu Jitsu and was set to transition to MMA by 19 years old. The dynamic virtuoso stayed in the regional circuit for a couple of years. Rodriguez amazed the audience with his wicked kick dancing. And by arranging flying escapades into the metaverse. Yet out of the five victims, three were forced to tap to submissions. Rumors about this young gun from Mexico reached the UFC, and in 2014, Yair joined the Latin American season of The Ultimate Fighter. His rival in the quarterfinals didn't get much of a chance to wander around. Rodriguez continued tagging him on the feet until the round ended, pounding away when possible. In the second, he made a mistake defending a takedown, but caught the antagonist in an icy chokehold. In the semis, El Pantera took less time to calibrate and let all hell break loose. Yeah. Advancing to the finals, in November of 2014, 22-year-old Yair met Leonardo Morales, a striker by trade. Here we go! At UFC's debut event in Mexico, Rodriguez was as artistic as ever. Artist since age seven. Wow. I like how Morales keeps his oh, chin back. Winning two rounds across the board. Right hook counter. Defense though, Mario Yamasaki can easily God. stand up here. Just keep hitting it, keep hitting it. Oh, oh kick! In the third, however, the Nicaraguan put the enemy's chin to the test. Beautiful inside leg kick. Those are some very strong kicks, Mike. But Yair didn't fall behind. He staged multiple assaults. Yair. The crowd here in Mexico City trying to cheer on Yair Rodman. And I just saw it. Accidental. In the replay. It's an accidental headbutt. Oh, Spin. wheel kick. That were followed by a competitive ending. Rodriguez oh, again. Turning it on. Final. Oh, good left hand by Morales. High kick. And Rodriguez returns the kick of his own. It goes the distance. Getting a well deserved nod in his premier performance, El Pantera stepped into the octagon twice in 2015. Charles Rosa showed what happens when you face the unrestrained chaos personified by Rodriguez. So tall and long. Oh! Beautiful technique. These 15 minutes of madness earned the Mexican his first post-fight bonus. Rosa tries to take him down, but yes, look at this kid, Rodriguez. A completely different scenario was expected from the encounter with Dan Hooker. I'm six foot with a vicious hook. When I bite down on this mouthpiece, ooh boy, I make nails look soft. The hangman was usually the one sending opponents to the land of wind and ghosts. Right there, Dan Hooker. Rodriguez and Hooker. Albeit thrice more experienced, nothing could save Dan from a barrage of spinning blades. 
But when you're really good at them, they work. You see, there it is. Oh, look at that. He hurt him with that kick. Hooker is almost seven top. of his last eight. By the final bell, Yair turned his liver into steak tatar. Reach it a speed advantage, oh, right? To the, oh, beautiful spin. And effortlessly secured a unanimous decision. Trying to throw final seconds of the fight, swing and a miss. They go the distance. Boasting a streak of three triumphs, the only conceivable criticism of Rodriguez was his sleeping killer instinct, paired with the promising Andre Philly, another talented kickboxer. Oh, what a head kick! Yair guaranteed a rude awakening for the American. And indeed, the Mexican prospect was in full control early. Landed a takedown. Side movement, there's a good kick to the body. Leg, takes him down. Down. Took him down. And took his time with ground and pound. Oh, he got hit really in half guard here by Andre. Andre's gonna get back up to his feet. Nice leg. Once Andre regained his footing, Yair found a way to reignite the fire in the crowd. Oh, very nice left hand by Andre. True to the promise, halfway through the bout, Rodriguez turned on the attack randomizer. Hit him with back Whoa, there's that jumping round kick. Look at that. Wow. And delivered a cheat code wallop. Go forward. Yeah, you're just so f Oh, round kick. Wow. He got him. It's just it. like that. It is all over. Wow. Unbelievable. Solving the two body problem with a brilliant scissor kick, El Pantera opened his tally of knockdowns in the ultimate promotion. Yeah, you're just so f Oh, round kick. Wow. He got Soon he headlined a UFC event for the first time, along Alex Caceres. The guy with a lavish afro proved he could throw some hands right away. That's what you and kicked freely. Combination there from Rodriguez. Getting into a rhythm. Yair wasn't shy to let the punches go. He was able to shake it off though. Oh man, right. more active and accurate oh. fighter here. But was more precise with catapulting his legs. Now you get the crowd get behind Caceres here a little bit. Very well, giving no opportunity for Caceres. And tirelessly launched spinning shots. He's got that kind of... By the second frame, half of the arena caught a cold from Rodriguez's hurricane-like style. Oh! This continues to attack the body and again. I mean, almost every time Caceres sets his feet. The only parody left was in boxing exchanges. See, this is where Caceres there, and he lands a nice left. Rodriguez catches his breath a little bit. Oh, but he eats a big left hand from Rodriguez. Luckily for Caceres, Yair's high octane moves drained his gas tank. Places at the clinch. A beautiful sidekick. At the midpoint, Alex stepped in with solid offerings. Side to side, ducking a little bit. Nice combination there. Oh, beautiful from Caceres. The championship rounds played out in a more conservative manner, with mixed success for both fighters. Okay, slowing a little bit here towards... The oh, beautiful. But it was Rodriguez who had the final say. And she's the pace here. Letting the hands go another beautiful... Looking to put the finishing touches oh. on what has been a good fifth round for him. Just non-stop and again lands it. Outstanding. Following 25 minutes of back and forth airbending, the judges declared the Mexican as the winner and awarded him the 10th spot in the rankings. Pantera! The man tasked with raising El Pantera's stock was BJ Penn. He used to hold belts in two divisions, could rock opponents harder than Judas Priest. Three steps forward. And boasted a world class submission game. It's over. It's over. It's Two main events. Nevertheless, the Hawaiian on a seven year long winless streak had nothing for the young striker. Having located the target, Rodriguez diversified the attack. And spent the remainder of the opening round with malicious intent. The momentum from those kicks. The strikes continue to pile up for Rodriguez. Uppercut is there for Penn. By the second, BJ's resiliency was that of a wet origami. This of Yair Rodriguez. Round two here. Down goes Penn. And he's moving. Come Rodriguez wins. There you go. That is it. El Pantera Yair Rodriguez has done it. 
dropping Penn with a front kick and ruthlessly pounding him out on the mat, Yair jumped up to number 7 in the rankings without a single scratch. The ambitious up-and-comer was immediately thrown into the claws of Frankie Edgar, a former dictator in the lightweight division. The American hadn't lost to anyone down at featherweight, except the king, Jose Aldo, and occupied the second spot in the weight class. The stocky Edgar charged in swinging from the get-go. Secured a takedown. Pinned Rodriguez against the fence and threw heat until the bell sounded. Despite Yair's face resembling a bloody mask, he went into the second round. El Pantero was grounded once again, let Frankie slip out of a knee bar, and was doomed from there on. Going into the third was out of the question, and he was sent to the hospital with some food for thought. In addition, Yair's career was thrust into complete disarray. One fight cancellation after another, an injury. He was even released from his contract with a record of 6-1, then immediately resigned. And following 18 months on the couch, he finally came back in November 2018. El Pantera stepped in on short notice to face the Korean zombie. Chen Sung Jung was a renowned master of destructive blitzes. But only competed once in the past five years, which raised some questions. Zombie's a little low. Yair was striking from range early, while the seasoned Korean closed the distance with artillery fire. Uppercuts repeatedly with the right hands. 25 minutes to fight here tonight. Rodriguez switched on by the middle rounds, engaging in tit-for-tat exchanges. Rodriguez to keep his distance and get creative like that. Both guys land. Oh, elbow for me. Both were throwing the kitchen sink at each other. Oh, nice. Yet, the zombie did most of the marching forward. Oh, nice uppercut! That's the same uppercut. There's the Taekwondo coming out from... And both got nice right... And El Pantera risked coming up short on the scorecards. Nice elbow that jab of Rodriguez spinning elbow. Chan Tong Jung, this. Question that kick from Rodriguez. Oh, Thanks to the Aztec gods, Chen proved to be a sucker for elbows throughout the bout. Oh, both guys land. And when he decided to put a decisive stamp on the dying moments, Yair treated him with a lethal dose. One more flurry. In dramatic fashion, Rodriguez pulled the trigger with a reverse upward elbow at the last second. He claimed the record for the latest knockout in UFC history and earned a double post-fight bonus. Oh, nice body kick. One more flurry. Oh, wow. Jumping into the top 10 with a Kill Shot of the Year award, in September 2019, Yair faced Jeremy Stevens. Despite losing four out of his last seven, Lil Heathen was still as dangerous as your psycho ex-girlfriend. But I like what Stevens is doing early. Oh. Big kick from Stevens! There's the right hand. Oh! oh he Standing during these exchanges. Oh. Unfortunately for Rodriguez, just 15 seconds in, he accidentally poked Stevens in the eye. Rodriguez, number seven in the green. Straight away, you see the speed. And the confrontation was declared a no contest. Salty as the Red Sea. He entered the rematch a month later. Jeremy was far behind in the first round, losing IQ points in the process. And gritting his teeth in frustration. In the second, El Pantera switched the area of interest. Further worsening Steven's situation. Following that, Rodriguez had an adrenaline dump after a failed finishing sequence. 
and lost control of the action. Stevens now on the back of Rodriguez. Jackson's with some good ground striking here. On a knee. As the bout came to a close, Yair was forced to simply survive. Yeah, there's been a renewed focus on cardio and certainly and that's another answer for these kicks to the body. Catch him and he's in fight the back and forth, especially right now. Jimmy Heroically withstanding the assault on the canvas, the Mexican took home a hard-earned decision win. My jokes were bad. 27-year-old Rodriguez's hype train came to a halt for two years. Following a USADA suspension and multiple fight cancellations, he suddenly returned with a number one contender duel versus Max Holloway in 2021. With three title defenses, the former featherweight monarch rightfully occupied the top spot in the rankings. And although Alex Volkanovski had bested him twice, the pride of Hawaii redeemed himself by putting a best boxer in the UFC clinic on Calvin Catter. In the eyes of many, Rodriguez didn't stand a chance, but El Pantera invested into crippling calf kicks early. Yeah, he is doing a really good job of chopping away that leg. And served a variety of strikes to all levels. Wow. Man, Yair is just... From Yair. That calf kick is making it difficult for Max to really do oh. Max unloaded to the midsection consistently. Kelvin hits hard as well. Ooh. But as the fight progressed... Making great use of the lead hand in southpaw. A couple of times now. Oh, nice. Yair. Rodriguez tried to retaliate and seized the initiative in the pocket. Ooh, that was nice. Throwing. Fainted the kick. Even under fire, Holloway made sure the Blessed Express stays on track. Tee off. Yeah. Oh, the right hand. That hurt Max. Oh. Cut and bruised, El Pantera didn't back down for long. Holloway counters. Oh. And took Max into the grappling realm. Gonna try to fight those hands right now. Nicely done. Holloway wiggled out. Got it, hoisted him up high. Max nice. with great ball. Fires oh, back. Oh, oh, here goes Airborne. And ate a couple axe kicks for his efforts. Oh, look out for the... Yep, yep. For the that coin. one got through, though. They opened the second round with a shootout worthy of a great Western movie. Holloway. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Max. Meanwhile, as the Hawaiians started finding success with body work... A great first round as well. You know, and... and the elusive movement of Yair Rodriguez. It's really not Yair was forced to tap into his creative instincts. Mm. And that the counter. Look at the earlier fight with Miguel Baeza and Chaos Williams. Went to oh, oh, much. Up elbow, snuck in there from Rodriguez along. Concerned about the scorecards, Blessed put the pedal to the metal at the midway point. A lot of damage there. Oh. Oh. The unwavering Rodriguez refused to give up, yet he couldn't stop Max from going into the fifth as the favorite. Just as good there. Rodriguez once again back oh. to his. Be super, super focused is what they want from Holloway. I mean, look at this though. Look at the pressure from Max. Nevertheless, the Mexican maniac kept throwing heavy leather until the final bell, as the exhausted Holloway's defense had more holes than a sinking ship. Oh, Rodriguez. Oh, 180. I've really got the ability to land cards. Oh, 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 look at that. Exciting competitive fight between these guys. Look for the spin. Oh. Spinning El Holloway and Yair Rodriguez go the distance to a crowd that... Even though the Cowboy Slugfest ultimately went the Hawaiian's way, Yair proved that he was still of that ilk in the eyes of the fans and the promotion. Eight months later, Rodriguez was rewarded with a matchup against the second-ranked Brian Ortega. T-City was best known for having deadly jiu-jitsu. Possessed one-shot knockout power in any limb. And came within inches of dethroning the champion in the previous outing. Yair is fast, man. Nevertheless, Brian's face got polished with El Pantera's gloves for four consecutive minutes. Cut underneath the right eye of Rodriguez, who now to gone about 90 seconds to go. Oh. Oh. oh, beautiful. And even when Ortega hit the jackpot with a hip toss. Rodriguez is very comfortable in the wizard. Great job by Ortega. 
Rodriguez didn't flinch. Brian, yeah, this is great for Brian. Brian wants to grab. Oh, what happened? His shoulder popped off. His shoulder popped off. Oh no! Trying to escape an armbar, Brian ended up dislocating his own shoulder. Thus, Yair took the lead in the contenders race and returned to action in February 2023. Topping the event in Australia, Alex Volkanovsky and Islam Mahachev were doing their thing in a lightweight mega fight. Therefore, Rodriguez challenged for the interim strap opposite Josh Emmett. Ranked fifth in the division, the American demolition expert had industrial dynamite in both hands. A solid wrestling base and was anything but easy prey, boasting a streak of five victories. When they finally clashed, Emmett underestimated the danger of Yair's patented moves. And ended up swinging for the bleachers with a battered liver. He's throwing it to set up the heavy one coming after. Oh, and it clipped him with that right. Howbeit, Rodriguez, despite dominating with noticeable ease, found a way to shoot himself in the foot. It's a, it's a problem. And that's the thing, and it can just land one and he's got you hurt. He was paying the audacity fee till the end of the round. And if I can't get the speed. before suddenly breaking the defensive cycle. The athletes open the second stretch with an artillery battle. This time, Yair was much more composed. The same thing twice. Pretty swiftly, Emmett had the taste slapped out of his mouth. But the power is on Josh Emmett's side, but the soldier is boxing. He's going to swing and he's going to try and take you down. Ooh, oh, elbow. Oh, 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 oh. The knees are what's going to hurt here and the elbows. Prompting him to start flailing away. Not getting any kind of. Uh, and the Mexican predator sensed blood. Yeah, he's constantly attacking. Oh, my goodness. The worst for wear, Josh couldn't last much longer. He's going to pull it down in three seconds. He's done. Nearly getting sent into a tailspin, Rodriguez eviscerated the adversary by the 10 minute mark and drowned him in a Bermuda Triangle, earning precious accolades and a ninth UFC bonus. El Pantera is soon to square up against Alex Volkanovski in an attempt to become the undisputed champion. The bookmakers have little faith in Yair, but let's not forget that he can shatter any odds with a single swing of his leg. Yair's just so fast. Oh, oh wow. round kick, he got him, it's just right there. Tall and long. Oh! Oh! You see, there it is. Oh, look at that. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more flashy violence, scissor kick the like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport. Gotta throw another big shot. Oh, nice body kick. One more flurry. Oh! Wow.